7,000 confirmed, 51 dead, but 166 cured! Melissa versus Drying Rack, round one. No, I'm sorry. Look at how cool that is. I'm dead chuffed with myself. Look at how nice that looks now. I don't have all of that crap there. I've got enough space. It looks neat. Plus, it dries almost directly over the sink. Hallelujah. I have a place now for this. I don't know what to do about them. I don't really use them much anymore, to be honest. I might just stick them in a drawer somewhere and pretend I don't have them. I just had another moment. <laughs> Outside, you do all of the recycling, you do everything. You, you know, you put tin in one area and polystyrene in another area and card in another area and stuff like that. So there's me thinking that my Amazon boxes need to go outside with the rest of the rubbish, right? No. The security guard, that poor guy, he just, he has to look after me so much, bless him. He saw me carrying the massive Amazon box that I had my, my thing in, my, my drying rack in. And he's like, no, where, hang on, where are you going with that? I was like, oh God, out there. And he was like, no, 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 come here, come here, come here. So I felt like all of this was in Korean, mind you, because he doesn't speak a word of English. So I was like, mm. and he was like, you live on floor 11, yeah? I was like, yeah. He was like, he was like right, well, come with me. He took me, to, well, he took me to the service elevator. And he was like, you leave your boxes here on floor 11. I was like, really? He was like, yeah, because we take them. I was like, oh, no. So literally any Amazon boxes that I get, I just have to block my name out of or try my best to. And they take them from the surface elevator on my floor. What is this? They, they, they do everything for you here. You don't have to lift a finger. They do everything. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm actually getting a coronation. Woohoo! Love that for me. No, I'm still getting paid. Basically, the Ministry of Education has pretty much forced my boss into closing the Hagwon. <laughs> so, um, I've got two days off now, a very long weekend. So, Thursday, Friday, completely, completely. Mine. I don't know what to do with it. Probably dye my hair, but yeah, it's um, it's serious. It's serious. So A1 rocked up at my door this morning. <laughs> I died when I just got out of the shower, and she brought me this little face soap because the soap I use from the body shop, it's really hard to get over here. And look at how cute that is. That's adorable. It's a little, it's a little woman with it. She's so happy. It's so cute. But this is supposed to be makeup remover. 
and it smells amazing. But not only did she bring me this, like a legend, she also brought me two of these. Do you know how hard it is to get these here? Like, <sighs> what a legend. As if I'm gonna be wearing it. <laughs> As if this is gold dust, why would I? <laughs> I if you don't understand, these are KF94 face masks. These are best used with things like, um, dust, fine dust pollution and stuff like that. But since the coronavirus, as you know, hit, <laughs> it's become like trying to but find diamonds. The government have had to ration how many face masks people get, so you can only buy two a week now. So that means she's given me her share or someone in her family is gonna be without a mask this week and I feel awful. The government are only letting you buy a mask on certain days, so, and the way they're doing it is by the last number of your birthday. So if you were born in a year ending in one and six, you can go to a pharmacy or the post office and pick up two masks each Monday. The government are only letting you buy a mask on certain days. So, and the way they're doing it is by the last number of your birthday. So if you were born in a year ending in one and six, you can go to a pharmacy or the post office and pick up two masks each Monday. That's for me, that's... And then so on and so forth until Friday, I think, is five and nine. So, yeah, it's two per person per week. And one of my students, God love her, she was like, oh, are you, are you not wearing a mask? Are you not wearing a mask? And I was like, no, I don't need it. I'll just wash my hands. So she pulled out her own mask and she was going to give it to me. And I was like, not one that she's used, like one little packet. She's got like 12. I don't know how, but she's got 12. She had 12 in this little packet and she was going to give me one. And I was like, oh my God, you're so cute. I can't, I can't accept this, but thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. They're so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go and use this face wash because I am literally, literally out of makeup remover, which is why I've got a little bitch here because I've been like <laughs> just trying to rub it off with, so with not soap with water and it's been it's been rough on my poor skin. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how how the young lady here fares. I'm so grateful. <laughs> I am literally so grateful. Also, Boris Johnson's government has the coronavirus. Like, I don't, I hope that they make a full recovery, but this is what happens when you're a conservative. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 this can't be happening. No, 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 absolutely not. So I woke up this morning and I opened my curtains and there was this giant blue sign hanging from the government building opposite me. So I was like, what? So then I got to work trying to translate it because I know kind of what's being said. I know that Tomin, I think that's citizens, Yerebun is everyone, Himneseya is cheer up. So, Tomin Yerebun Himneseya, citizens cheer up. Then you've got Corona 19 underneath. Oh, oh, hold on, no. Citizens cheer up will beat Corona 19. <laughs> WHO officially declared COVID-19 a pandemic as the virus continues to spread rapidly around the world. Already more than 110 countries have reported confirmed cases. It's about this time. Is our top story. It's about time. With over 110,000 confirmed cases reported in at least 110 countries across the globe, the World Health Organization has officially declared COVID-19 as a pandemic. 
and we are deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. Yeah, it's not containable, is it? No. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. But WHO leader added time. that he expects to see the number of cases, of death, and affected countries to increase over the coming days and weeks. On the last day of 2019, 27 cases of pneumonia were reported in the Chinese city of Wuhan. Ten days later, Wuhan announced the outbreak of a novel coronavirus along with its first death. Over the course of the week that followed, countries including South Korea and the U.S. reported their first confirmed cases. Things escalated fast from there. The WHO declared a public health emergency of international concern on January 30th. Fast forward around 40 days, and at least 100,000 confirmed cases with 3,500 deaths in over 100 countries have been reported, eventually leading to COVID-19 being declared as a pandemic. This urges governments to initiate preventive and emergency measures to protect the public including more stringent travel and or trade restrictions. But the WHO said, calling the virus a pandemic does not change what it has been doing, calling on countries to take urgent and aggressive action to curb the spread of virus. I remind all countries that we're calling on you to activate and scale up your emergency response mechanisms. The WHO leader emphasized that the virus can be suppressed and controlled even with community transmissions or large cluster infections like those in South Korea. Uh, uh, he still insists that it can be controlled. Uh, has he seen Italy? <laughs> I don't think so. It's that time again, lads. Let's see if this one lasts longer. Of course I'd be the one to go to the lobby, just at the time the security guard is changing into his uniform. We meet again. This is just... Oh, never have I ever come across a smoothie so good. Went to uh, the latte outlet to get some butter. Come back with two lots of butter, four ice creams, a soju, a milkshake and a McDonald's. So... <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this and carry on watching a Taiwan class because oh my god, seriously, so good, so good, um, and have a fantastic evening. So that's my plans. So Beth's been having a pretty crap time of it right now. So to be a good friend, I've been sending her like BTS songs and stuff like that. Like And you know the the soap famous <laughs> And then I sent her Here we go. Did you?
Did you just fucking... Did you just fucking rickroll me? It's 2020, Melissa. <laughs>